Hello, this is one of our videos on contemporary uh, authors. You know what we do at TESS? We teach for net. That is not the only thing we do. We have a publishing company, we have a gaming club, we have a training center, and an online literature merchandise shop. A lot of young scholars and previous students at TESS are working in many, many projects for all these companies, and thereby they are getting more employability. We are uh, imparting some skills to these young scholars, and they are gaining more competence at their, in their professions. So this video is scripted by one such scholar, Marin John. Not long ago, in the year 1977, a baby girl was born in Nigeria. And she was called Chimamandangozi Adichi. Quite a long name. So we'll call her Adichi for short. She grew up and became one of the finest writers in the English language. And so it's very important for us to know about Adichi. Yeah. Adichi did not know from the very beginning that writing was going to be her cup of tea. But there was one thing that she knew, that she loved reading. It was one such uh, venture in reading that she encountered. Chinua Achebe's path-breaking novel, Things Fall Apart, published in 1958. This is a novel that Adichi found to be very transformative. It might have been at the same time that she chose to change over from medical studies to pursue communication and political science for her bachelor's. And then she also emerged as a writer. She also earned a master's degree in creative writing from Johns Hopkins University in the USA. And she studied African history at Yale University. At this time, she was shuttling between Nigeria and the USA. At uh, an age of just 21, she published a play called For Love of Biafra. Now you'll wonder what is Biafra or who is Biafra? Biafra is the nation, the new nation that wanted to break free from Nigeria. The Igbo people wanted their own nation. This led to the Nigerian Civil War or the Biafran War. Biafra was not formed. Thousands of people died in massacres at that time. This novel, sorry, play for love of Biafra is set during these historical conditions. And later, Adichie did not like this play. She thought it's an awfully melodramatic play. But that was just the beginning for the writer Adichie. Adichie proved her mettle. And very soon, in the next one decade, three novels came with much blood and sweat being spent upon them. These three novels are Purple Hibiscus, Half of a Yellow Sun and Americana. Did these novels really do well? Did people like them? Yeah, they certainly did. Her debut novel, Purple Hibiscus, was published in 2003 and won the Commonwealth Writers' Prize for the best first book. That was in 2005. And why is it called Purple Hibiscus? Have you seen a purple hibiscus? I don't know if I have. Many of you may not have seen it because it's a very rare flower. The title Purple Hibiscus means rarity, uniqueness. The novel tells the story of the 15-year-old girl Kambili, her coming of age. She is living under the influence of her very oppressive and fervently Catholic father, Eugene. He is quite oppressive to her, her brother and her mother. But this man, Eugene, is contrasted with his own sister, their aunt Ifoma, who is also a Catholic, but of a liberal kind. And Kambali also is talking to us about Eugene's father, who is a pagan African, 
whom Eugene does not have anything to do with anymore. So caught between all these cultures, Kambali grows up. And Kambali learns to be independent. She finds her own voice. She falls in love. And she grows mature. But her family falls apart. Because her mother was so traumatized and oppressed, she could not take it anymore. And one day she poisons her husband, Kambali's father. And Kambali's brother takes upon himself the crime and goes to jail for it. So much trauma for a girl who is growing up. But she grows mature out of all this. The novel was shortlisted for the 2004 Orange Prize, which is now called Bailey's Women's Prize for Fiction. Her second novel, Half of a Yellow Sun, well, she does have something to do with colors, doesn't she? Yellow sun, before that purple hibiscus. Anyway, why is it called Half of a Yellow Sun? Because that is the flag of the Biafran nation. Here, this novel is also set against the Biafran war, against the massacres, and it focuses on one 13-year-old boy, Ugwu, U-G-W-U. He works as a servant or houseboy for a family of four people. And all these five people are the focus of the novel. And this novel became an international bestseller and won the best of the best Bailey's Women's Prize for fiction. Did you know that she did a lot of historical research to write this novel? And it took her like four or five years to complete it. And she's third novel is Americana. This novel also won National Book Critics Circle Award. And it was acclaimed by New York Times as one of the best books of the year 2013. And do you know what Washington Post Book World called Adichie. They called her 21st century daughter of Chinua Achebe. Wow. And to put it simply, this novel Americana is a romantic story. A girl and a boy in their teenage fall in love and then they get separated from Nigeria. They travel to the US and the UK separately. And like the other novels here also, romance and Existential crises, racism are all mingled. The heroine of the novel, Ifemelu, is living in the USA. She's studying there and she's also blogging about race. And she finally meets up with her high school classmate and crush, Obinze. Wow, Adichie got a lot of awards at a very young age and she has turned out to be a very good writer. Now, don't think she wrote only novels. She has written other things too. Probably many of us heard about Adichie for the first time when we looked up TEDx Talks. She is a very good speaker. And she has been invited, invited to speak across the world. Her 2009 TED Talk, The Danger of a Single Story, is now one of the most viewed TED Talks of all time. There is another earlier one. We should all be feminists. Hey, it's not an earlier one. It's a later one. It's from 2012. Yeah. And apart from these nonfiction works, she has also written Dear Ijiwili or a Feminist Manifesto in 15 Suggestions. She's a feminist. And this is a work written in an epistolary format. And then her short stories. She has also written short stories. Her collection, The Thing Around Your Neck. It is to talk about that, that I'm wearing a thing around my neck today. The short story collection, The Thing Around Your Neck, was published in 2009. Now, what is this title about? This title is about the stereotypical images of both Africa and America that hang around the neck of the people of Africa and America, like a dead weight. This novel is about materialism, identity, loneliness, society, you know, not novel, short story collection. Now, don't you feel like reading one of her books? 
She's an amazing writer and I have read a couple of her books. Her style is beautiful. Even when she uses multiple perspectives in her novels, she's able to speak in a steady, consistent, clear voice. It is amazing. I think you should all read at least one of Eddie Chi's novels and you should definitely read her speech or listen to it. It is an amazing speech. We should all be feminists. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you from both me, Kalyani Valat, and the scriptwriter, Merin John. Bye-bye.